Hello, in this module we'll just have a short talk about practice, the purpose of practice and how to practice well so that you don't invest a lot of time doing a lot of hard work and not getting much result for it. First up, let's understand what practice is for. Practice is repeating things correctly so that you can make them automatic. You play them over and over correctly and make the correct version of whatever you're practicing an automatic thing so you don't have to think about it so much. Practice is a fundamental and important part of learning and improving. Some people will call it the magic potion and I guess they call it the magic potion because the reality is there is no magic. magic. Practice is necessary, practice is useful and it's what helps you move forward. When you first start out it's useful to know how much to practice. If you're practicing effectively, we'll talk a little bit about that shortly, 10 to 20 minutes a day, most days of the week, is a pretty good number. Life is pretty intense in modern times. People can do more practice, they can do less practice. If you're practicing effectively, then you don't need to do as much as if you're not. In fact, if you're not practicing well, you may be in fact creating problems. You may be making automatic things that are wrong. So how do you practice effectively? The first thing is to make sure that when you do your practice session, you've decided, I am now practicing. You sit comfortably. I prefer to sit with my practice charter on a table so that I'm thinking about it right in front of my eyes. You want to be very focused and concentrate. If you have distractions like the TV going in the background or Facebook scrolling past you or uh, dogs barking, and distracting you, or you're sitting on the bank of a river watching the speedboats go by, you're probably not actually practicing. You may be repeating things over and over, but you may be not gaining any value from it whatsoever and simply tiring yourself out, maybe even doing some damage. So what you need to do in a practice session is say, in this practice session, I'm going to focus on this particular thing first. I'm going to practice on my scale, I'm going to practice just putting my fingers on the chanter and taking them off again so that I'm, I find the holes more easily. Or I may be practicing grace notes, something you may learn about later. So you start by deciding what you're going to focus on and then that's what you do. You listen to what, you're, what you play. You put your fingers onto the chanter, for instance. Listen to the note. Did it come out cleanly? If so, great, do it again. If not, figure out what went wrong, correct it, and then do that again. So repeat that process until you get it right. If you're focused and you concentrate and you're thinking about what you're doing and you're listening to what actually comes out as you do it and focus on getting it right, that's how you progress. And it's remarkable how many people who believe they can't progress when they change their practice habits start to do so. So it's absolutely worthwhile to spend some time practicing regularly, as much as you feel that you can contribute. Maybe 10 to 20 minutes a day, a number of days a week is enough. Some people will say half an hour every day. I don't know that that's practical for a lot of people in today's life. But if you can, and you can focus for that time, well, you're gonna advance faster than somebody who can only do five minutes twice a week. So it's up to you how fast you want to advance, it's better that your practice is regular than that you do long bursts once a month. All right, when you finish your practice session, don't forget to maintain your instrument. Any good tradesman will pack up his tools, wash them, clean them, tidy them, and pack them well away before he uh, finishes a job. You should do the same with your practice charter. In an earlier module, we talked about care and maintenance of your practice charter. It applies here. When you finish a practice session, dry it out, make sure it's in good shape and put it away appropriately. So in this session you've learned a little bit about why to practice, how to practice, and what to listen for and think about when you're practicing. I hope that serves you well and that with all that work you do you'll get the benefit from it if you do it the right way. Thank you.